Well, just a quick one today. It's Friday. Give everybody a break. <laughs> I uh, thought I'd get on here. And I didn't think I'd be making any more comments you know, over there about Otter Creek, but, you know, I watched uh, uh, Thomas Cohen's uh, YouTube video today, and, you know, I know the young man is trying uh, very hard to become a decent citizen there in the area. I know he doesn't live in Otter Creek, but he's over there a lot. And, uh, you know, things happen. And we're, I guess, you know, we're in a world that's pretty much unforgiving. I guess I don't like that trait in people that can't uh, look and see if people are trying to better themselves. Uh, I have had some haters get on my couple of my videos in the last few days, and you know, I it, it, it kind of makes you disgusted that people can feel the way they do. And I don't know really where these people really come from. I mean, uh, it, it's a guess at best. All you can do is uh, pray that the Lord can give them a better outlook on life. When people troll you, it's because they have a problem mostly with their self. And it's not a matter of whether they think they can control you by throwing insults at you. They, they just do it because they want to. And you can rest assured you're not the only one that they're throwing the rocks at, I can just tell you right now. But you know, Thomas put up a vid and uh, he doesn't plan on uh, pressing charges against this guy that was throwing things at him the other day or the other week. And he's not pressing charges. And you know, I can remember a time when most places were a lot like that. They didn't, uh, they didn't like to cause more problem what's already there or uh, make somebody's life so miserable that they couldn't have a life. And you know, I'm getting pretty tired of <laughs> even worrying. And I don't, it's really not a worry. I, I, had, I had hoped that uh, I could give some of the people there a little better outlook on things that they could do that live around there. But I think that uh, I'm better off just keeping away from uh, what goes on there. People are gonna do what they're gonna do. <laughs> My wife hates that thing that says, it is what it is. <laughs> I, I guess I don't like it too well either. I try not to say it. <laughs> Sometimes there's things that we can't change and we have to just say goodbye to it and uh, accept it. Not for ourselves, but accept that it's there. That's all. Uh, I think time will take care of the problems. And I realize there's people that like changes and people that don't. Unfortunately, we don't always, always have the choice. It comes to us and we don't have the power to stop it if we don't like it. Well, that's just my opinion. And I'm not, like I say, this is not gonna be a long video. Uh, I feel, you know, for Thomas, you know, he's just a young man and he's gonna step in some of them cow pies in the pasture <laughs> he's got a long life ahead of him hopefully you know I, I really do and uh, I wish him all the luck uh, I, I wish more people 
were a little more tolerant so they could accept some of the flaws that they feel people have. Lord knows we all have them. Some aren't big enough to admit it, that's all. And no, I'm not going to name names or anything like that. <laughs> it's hard to just call somebody out on something like that because <laughs> I, I've, I've got enough flaws to fill a bushel basket, I guess, or more. <laughs> Maybe I should just step into it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm just lucky that I'm out here and can get around and don't have to worry where my next meal is coming from or uh, I've got enough property here if I want to isolate myself, I guess I could. Although I, I, I do enjoy talking with the neighbors around here. I know somebody said one day, why don't they bother you when you're in your garage? Well, if my doors are closed, they're not going to bother me. Now, if I was to open up the overhead door over here, I would get people stopping once in a while and uh, wanting to sit and talk. It's a small town, and uh, <clears throat> people are, for the most part, friendly here. I wish it could be that way where you're at, wherever it might be, not just one little place down there. With that, I guess, uh, you've got my best wishes out there. No name calling today. Uh, I really want it more on the upbeat. Like I say, I watched uh, uh, Thomas's uh, video out there, and he, uh, I, you know, like I say, he's trying, trying very hard. And I, I hope some of you will give him that extra little breathing room that he needs to grow. He, uh, I, I think he's conscientious. He wouldn't be that bad of a neighbor, better than some I've seen. <laughs> I don't, I shouldn't even put bad in there because I, I really, I don't have qualms about it. if he was a neighbor of mine, it wouldn't bother me in the least. Uh, matter of fact, he might probably help me with on things that I can't do around here doing some of the mechanic work. I'm getting where I can't uh, bend over a fender real easy and, oh man, getting underneath it. I can get underneath it, but coming back out and getting back to my feet, no, well, that's a chore. <laughs> oh my. Well, I hope you all have a good weekend. Uh, the 13th, I'll be on uh, uh, Milltown's Best, Super Dave. I believe it's at uh, 6.30 Central Standard Time. And uh, it'll be a live, live show. Uh, Super Dave is going to put the agenda together and uh, ask the questions. And, and uh, i got to keep my finger on the mute button so that if I can't answer it, I can... I can hit the mute button and go. <laughs> and hope nobody can lip read. <laughs> oh, heck. Nah, I, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Listen, like I said, you have a good weekend out there. And uh, I know I'm going to. Boy, I'll tell you, we're going to have some uh, nice uh, uh, pieces of pork loin tonight. Slice just right. Tenderize a little bit. Seasoned a little bit. Fried till they're done. <laughs> and we're going to have some home-baked beans. Oh, boy, they're good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And some coleslaw with a little bit of sweet vinegar on it. All mixed up just perfect. And whatever surprises my wife comes up with it. And we have a cake in the refrigerator just setting to be, oh, oh. Whew. And uh, I still got better than an hour yet to wait for supper and my mouth is getting all wet inside. they just thinking about that supper. <clears throat> yeah, I like that. 
One thing is, uh, tomorrow morning I wish we were having something like biscuits and gravy. Uh, but we don't have anything in there right now. Uh, usually we have leftover chicken or something I can go out there with where we can mix up a bit of gravy. I like that good old milk gravy. Lots of pepper in there and a little bit of salt. And just lay a heavy layer over the top of the biscuits. And sit there and eat for about a half hour. Big glass of milk. A little cup of coffee over there. <laughs> Boy, I shouldn't think about food. <laughs> Tonight's, tonight will be a good meal though. Friday nights, uh, sometimes we order out, we get pizza or something like that. And, but we had pizza last night and it was good. Oh man, oh, thinking about stuff. I don't know why I waste my time on here when I could be in there eating something. I could probably get a little piece of cake before supper if I was real good. <laughs> oh, heck. Well, listen, maybe I made everybody out there hungry. I'm going to set this on here. It'll download quick, or upload, rather. Sometimes, you know, I'm not a tech guy, so and I, when I'm saying download, I had it backwards. I mean upload. <laughs> With that, you guys have a good day. It's Friday. Should be the end of the week for you. Uh, some of you go out probably and party a little bit. Maybe you'll eat supper out with your significant other. Don't drink too much. <laughs> Don't want to get stopped by them boys in blue on the way home, you know. Yeah. Well, with that, uh, you have a good week.